G'day guys, it's the Chevy man again. I'm back, uh, been a bit busy lately, and uh, I thought I might do a little video on uh, the replacement of the halogen light that I put in the Chevy. Uh, upgrade the halogen light, but now we're gonna upgrade to um, the LED headlights. Much brighter and much better. Um, this is the brand that I'm using, and that's the the part number for them. Now the best thing about these are that there's no heat sink, they're exactly the same um, globe size, that's the halogen original, right? And we have the new, which comes in a nice little package box, um, LED style. As you can see, they are the same in in length and there's no heat sink on the back so that you don't have to um, worry about space at the back. I'll go right back in the same spot replacement um, spot and they will look great and they work real good too. Nice and bright and um, we're going to show you how to install them. Well you can see the difference between the LED lights light, headlight, been uh, installed compared to the original halogen, halogen light here. Um, yeah, so I would say that uh, it's made a difference, a far difference, and uh, much clearer, you see on the wall, one's white, one's yellow, against the uh, the wall. And there's the bezel around the headlight. You just need to undo that screw, those two, three, and there's one underneath there which are already undone. And just take the uh, bezel away from the, uh, the headlight. Pretty easy. Three screws, we'll get them out. And uh, there. And there. There we go. So. I've already taken that center one out. I've already taken that center one out, so we'll get them. Uh, now this is pretty, probably, probably pretty tight. Yeah, she's glued on just about the. Uh, there it goes. And the, and the rubber's still on there. But I mean, that it all is. And uh, we'll show you how. To, well, it won't put it on there. We'll show you how to get this this clip off. And get this headlight off. Well, there it is. There. See this little tag here? This little tag there that holds this bezel around the headlight. If you push that down, and it'll pop out. It'll come out because down here there's a spring. If you could see the spring, that holds that holds that that bezel around there on, and that's all it is. That spring and that clip up the top here is the only thing that holds that whole retainer on. That holds the headlight back on. Those two screws back there are only adjusters, and you could just wobble them out to get it out. I'll show you soon. There you go. So by that clip going down, that comes out, and then you just pull it forward like that, and it stays on the spring. Springs underneath here. I'll put something there so it won't scratch the paint. A bit of tape, and that's it. There's your there's your light. The light then is easy coming out. But what we'll do, we'll take the bucket out because I'm gonna to get to it better. Um, yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> as you can see, the, the adjusters are still hang, holding it on. But if you push it round and push it out of that little um, screw there, you'll find that the bucket will come out. There you go. And then you've got your top. Your, your, your headlight in your hands for the uh, yeah you can unplug the plug at the back and I've got this indicator in there too which you've got to unplug from the the rear of it um, so so we'll, we'll we'll get it all out and show you yeah I've unplugged it all bit tight squeeze in there yes how 
this is the back of the uh, the light, and there's the uh, little spring clip. You push over, and you just take the halogen globe out as per normal. There you go. So, and you just replace it with the LED. Go straight in there. Just got to find the the happy medium to get in there. Um, there's the, the little tags indicate it where it goes. There it is there. Sometimes you've got to loosen this little plate here to uh, make it sit nice and firm in there. And then you put the clip down again. As you can see, I'll just check that it's sitting. No, it's not sitting that well. So just undo that screw a little bit here. And that should release. That's it. So you drop back in and tighten that back up. And you put the clip down. Clip this in that position. Yep. And that's it. She's in. Or oh, is it? Just make sure that the little spring goes around the back of that. Around there. It's got a hook around the back there. So it's in firm now. And that's how you in install the LED globe. Now, this is the cover. If you remember, the factory one, the hole is much smaller. And I had to open this up originally to get these, these uh, aftermarket um, lights in because they're a lot bigger. So all you do is just cut the back of it out a bit and um, you install it back in like that. So there's plenty of room. Um, but there's these allocators. Uh, where are they? Um, yeah. Square plugs square little slots are there so those little slots that's where that they, they go into those little square bits and that locks in there so so when you in fact that wasn't it was it you can't go wrong because they only go one way around and um, yep where do we get them around here this way that way this way that way that way, that way. Where's the one I marked? I did mark it actually. That's the best way. If you can mark it like I did there, then those square allocators line up. And that's what you had to open up that big hole so this could come through. Where the normal uh, headlights, they just come through. They were just a normal type of seal beam and originally had that much space to go in, that's all they were. That was original seal boom, and you didn't need that big that big uh, hole before, if you remember. That's how they used to sit, yeah. So you have to open them up for the new type light, and now we've got the LED, the new LED light in there. And, um, yeah, we're gonna fit it on the left side of the vehicle, um, I've already done the right side earlier, but this is going on the left side of the vehicle. Um, so yeah, we'll finish it off. Here we go. I've just put the this rubber boot to seal it a little bit as much as I can, because that's an aftermarket one that was all closed, but I had to cut that hole out to let the plug fit. Uh, normally the wires come in from the side, but it's totally totally different for when you modify things and it actually holds the plate in you know it doesn't want to pop out it's 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 good it, it's it, it firms it up and seals a little bit and we're ready to put put that the, the, make sure your rubber's on properly because they're they're a pain they keep slipping out when you install um, but that's how it's going to go in into the Chevy um, and um, like I was saying I left the retainer hanging out on the spring. So when you plug it all in, uh, all those plugs, um, 
I've got in this case I've got uh, I've got my indicator to, to put in an extra hole in the headlight for the indicator. But then when you fit it in there, you just pull this back, pull this back and click it in. Yep, I'm gonna install it now. So I've just plugged all the plugs in into the light and reconnected it. So all it is, is that you um, try to get it in there. See these slots up here, um, as you could see, the, um, this, the, the slotted there and there and, and they are just adjusters they don't hold the light at all they're just adjusters and you can see you could move them and you could slot them in there either sides just move the screw slot in there and that's it's in position the light is in position now and all you do is start pulling that in and that clips that little slot there will clip into the uh, into the light itself now you may have to pull out the spring, use two hands, grab the spring with pliers, pull it towards you, and then rock it in and clips it in there, and that's how it, it holds. It holds the whole light. So, um, yep, well, I've got to use two hands now to do it. <laughs> yes, I've finally got the headlight in and fixed. The problem was I used a different method, method the first time, by leaving this this hanging over on the on the spring, the other side it worked out great, and I just pushed it in and it slid under that that because it rolls under that and it come and that comes back into the slot and it snapped in. Hands are getting a bit weak lately. I didn't have the strength to push this back. It will not go over that lip. I had troubles with that. Um, I pushed and pushed and pushed and it wouldn't wouldn't roll over and, and jump into that slot So I had to do it a different way, which is uh, a lot of guys do it this way uh, uh, This other way, which was the old traditional take the ring off the spring Hook it up on there first come this way come this way and grab the spring underneath Which is a little little spring up the, on the bottom there and then try to hook that on. That That is the way that a lot, of, a lot of people do. But as you can see, it is not much room under there to try to get that spring from the back of the bucket and hooked into that hole. Um, but a lot of guys do it that way. I did it the other way, it worked for me. But this time, on this side, every car is different and doesn't matter what, um, they say they don't always go that same way. Like left side went better, right side didn't go any good. So I had to relate back to that system and, and needed four hands in. One hole there, click in there, and the other one, my, my wife with strong arms got in there, grabbed that spring and pulled it out and clicked it in there. These hands are not working like they used to. And there's the finished product, LED. Nice and bright, and you can see how they are white on the um, the wall, bright as. And uh, I have that indicator inside there too. And I will go around and show you the rest of the car is all LED now. All LED, even the uh, the tail lights. Tail lights are LED, reverse lights are LED. You can see those little dots. Um, my um, number plate lights, LED. There's special bolts with the lights in them, but on that special bumper. I've got LED brake lights. Um, when I put the brakes on, they come up bright. And um, yeah, she's um, all LED, so uses less power, and it's great. Uh, I'll show you in my dash. What I've done was uh, I put the indicator on, and you can see that's not LED. Got the original one going because on the decoder, it's that small. 
I thought I'll put the original one going in as well. So right side, left side. And also, got LEDs on my, on my mirrors. Can't go wrong there, eh? So they could see it turning from a mile away. So, the LEDs go. And um, that's it. Well guys, that's it. That's how you install LED lights in a 57 Chev on the headlights or head lamps. So, it's great. I mean, with these eyes, <laughs> in the darkness, you need them. It's getting a bit harder and harder to see and uh, they're very bright. So I recommend it highly. So, the Chevy man signing off. If you like to subscribe or tick like or any comment. We'll see you soon. Thank you.